I'm going to show you how to create a bar chart KPI in Business Portal with Dynamics GP. It's really quite simple. Let's take a look. To create a KPI, I'm going to go into Business Portal. I'm going to sign in as an administrator. I'm going to go to Site Actions and then Site Settings. These are where all the site settings for Business Portal are. And specifically, I'm going to KPI Management. And I'm going to create a new KPI. I'm going to create a KPI for payables. So the first thing I need to do is create a query. Brings up a query wizard. And next I have to select the business entity. I'm going to select ledger summary here. Those are the accounts, those are the fields that I want. Hit next, next, and I'm looking for a specific account range, so I'm going to select that, and I'm going to select from my main segment, which happens to be segment two in my system. And I'm looking for a range of accounts. My payables are all in these accounts here. can name this query. And I'm going to have it applicable to this company here. Hit next and then I'm done. So I've created my query. In order to be used as a KPI it needs two elements. It needs an amount and a time period. So I'm going to select the amount field. It's going to be net change. It's going to be a sum on that field and I want to show it as a currency amount. Then I'm going to select the time period. So I'm going to select the year which is required and then a period summary as well. And the fiscal periods that I'm really look, interested in are the current period and the previous period. So I'll select those. And I can see I need another name here so I'll do that. Then if I want to I can set up alert ranges on this but I'm going to pass right now and I'm going to have this recalc on a daily basis. I'm going to pass on related KPIs and then I'm going to make it available to these roles within Business Portal. And I'm going to store it in this folder here. Hit OK. I'm done creating my KPI. Let's take a look at it. my KPI. I'm going to calculate it now. One, to make sure that it works and also to make sure that the values are there. You can see the values there. Hit OK. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to create another KPI which is going to use this KPI and I'll show you how that works in the equation. So let's create a new KPI that will actually be displayed in Business Portal. And I'm not going to use a query on this. I'm going to use the KPI that I just created. So I'm going to create a KPI equation. And I'm going to use the equation builder for that. And all I want to do is really change the sign of the results. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to hit multiply and then key in minus one. And I'm done. It's that simple. It's going to be currency. Select the fiscal periods. Hit next. No alerts. Make it available to these people, these roles. And I'm going to store it in this folder. I'm done creating that. Let's take a look at it. Let's calculate it. You see that it's changed the signs there, which is I want, which I want because I have a graph and I want a positive graph on that. 
So let's close that. And now we're done with the KPI. Let's add it to Business Portal. I'm going to add this to the Financial Center. And I'm going to add it right in the middle. Here's my Financial Center. I'm going to edit this page and add that web part. There's three different KPI type of web parts and we're going to select the bar chart here. Let's add that. It's going to add the web part and then ask me to go into the tool pane. We'll do that. Let's move over here so we can see it. I'm going to select the KPI that I want to use. Select that. Select and close. And then I want the time periods that I want. I'm going to use these two time periods. It's going to be a simple chart. And then let's go ahead and change the um, appearance of this. We'll just change the description. And we're done. Hit apply and OK. So here's my new web part. I'm still in edit mode, so I'm going to go up and exit edit mode. And now we can see what this chart's going to look like to the average business portal user. It's a large chart. It's hard to change that size of it. But there you see it. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to add a bar chart KPI into business portal. If you hadn't tried it yet, why don't you go ahead and try it? I think you'll find it pretty easy to do.